So it might be a different backdrop here, but this is still United People's TV. And here we are talking about Casemiro and Anthony. Manchester United on the verge of agreeing a 70 million euro deal to bring Casemiro. Yes, Casemiro, a genuine defensive midfielder to Manchester United. And also we've had an 80 million pound bid rejected for Anthony. Man United have decided to wait until I've gone away for a couple of days. Very nice of you. Uh, and uh, this feels like a bit of a panic and response to everything that's going on against the Glazers. And that still remains the focus for everybody. But in this video, I'm going to run through all the latest from The Athletic, from the BBC, from The Telegraph on Casemiro, the structure of that deal, the fee of that deal. And also speaking about that Anthony bid that's gone in. So make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe. But let's dive into this one. And genuinely, as I say, we're on the verge of signing Casemiro. Let's run through the story here from The Athletic. Manchester United, uh, as Adam Crafton reported late on Thursday evening, we're close to signing him for 70 million euros. Let's find a bit more information about the deal. Man United are close to signing Casemiro in a deal worth an initial 60, rising to 70 million if all clauses are met. He's agreed a four-year contract at Manchester United. Uh, Casemiro's contract includes the option of a fifth year that can be triggered as an option. And my first initial reaction to that is that, wow, we're giving a 30-year-old a four-year, five-year contract. You remember back in the day, I think we've spoken about this quite a few times on United People's TV. We used to give 30-year-olds like one-year rolling contracts. It's come a long way since then, but let's dive into more information. Deal's not yet completed. It is understood to be proceeding at good speed. The 30-year-old is already among the highest earners at Real Madrid. And while United's offer is not close to the double-your-money package that has been suggested in the Spanish media, Casemiro will be among the club's top earners. So you're probably looking at around 350 grand a week. Now, what's your reaction to this Casemiro deal? Because you can, you can come at it from a negative stance if you really want to. He's 30, Real Madrid, let's be honest, I've said this before, they don't particularly let go of players that they go on to regret letting go of. And they've just signed Chua Many, they've got Camavinga, they've got the replacements for Casemiro, Cruz and Modric kind of in-house already. That's how you replace a midfield, by the way. But Casemiro, he's Casemiro. Let's be honest, he was one of the best players in the Champions League final a couple of months ago. If Liverpool had signed him, or were going to sign him, it'd be like, it'll be hailed as this incredible thing. But now that United have signed him, he's, he's over the hill. I'm a bit sceptical of the fact that we're giving such a huge contract to someone who's 30. That's what I'm sceptical about. If it works out with Casemiro, though, Jesus. I, you know full well here at United People's TV how long I've gone on about signing defensive midfielders. Wow. It feels like I've been banging the drum for so long. And here we are, we're about to sign quite... Pro I would say Casemiro is in everybody's top three. He's that good a player. Casemiro with the sort of... And this is a team which has... It's just a load of kids and we're a load of puppies with no mentality and no steel and no strength. Casemiro. Five times... He's won the Champions League five times. Won La Liga three times. Won three Club World Cups. Wow. It's a very different... It's a massive pivot away from Frankie de Jong, which is effectively what this is. And we'll speak about that de Jong situation, of course, when I come back after this few days away. But you can't not be excited at the idea of signing Casemiro. Casemiro and Fred work brilliantly well together. They balance partnership in the Brazilian midfield. Maybe you'd see that at Manchester United. But Casemiro would come into the club and add genuine protection to that defence. I guarantee you our centre-backs are better because Casemiro is sitting in front of them. I guarantee you a whole team feels like more of a unit with Casemiro in it. As I say, it's a massive shift from the De Jong situation. But if it works out, this could be a genuinely transformative signing. Let's dive into a bit more information here. The BBC following up on that. Simon Stone this morning saying Casemiro, Man United are closing in on signing him. 50 points. There you go. Same fees. Uh, talks have progressed quickly and United are optimistic for the deal with Manchester Evening News over here saying that Manchester United have agreed personal terms with him. Let's see what they're saying about the personal terms. Uh, sources say United have tried to accelerate the deal in an attempt to get Casemiro in for Liverpool. But because, look, post-Brexit, you'll remember the, delay, the delays sorry, that there were with Lissandro Martinez. I think it took 10 days between the deal being agreed and him coming to the club. It's because of visa issues and work permit issues. Uh, Post-Brexit, it's much more difficult in the UK. So Casemiro will not be here in time for Liverpool. Let's scratch that one. He'll be here for the game after. But that's, well, I'd rather he be there, but he won't be. But Casemiro, going back to it, honestly, when the Casemiro stories started, I just labelled it as pure and utter fantasy. 
yet here we are. We're about to sign Casemiro. And it's just this football club, man. This football club. Is this, it feels like all of a sudden we're talking about 150 million euro bids for two players, Casemiro and Anthony, which I will get onto next. And all summer long we've been dillying and dallying and dithering and tinkering over small fees. All of a sudden there's 150 million euros. It's suspicious. And I'll reiterate what I said at the start. This Man United fans will not accept this as a distraction from the ultimate ambition and the goal, which is to get rid of the Glazers and the Monday protest. This will not be affected by these two transfers. But I will be speaking about them because it will transform and change our team for this season. So Casemiro, it feels like there's going to be a here we go over the next 48 hours. And if it works out. And look, he's, he's still in peak condition. 30 is considered like a, ooh, it's a taboo age in football, isn't it? But there are plenty of 30-year-old footballers who still have significant roles and impacts in their team. Thiago, I think, was bought for Liverpool around about the same age. Hey, Casemiro, a, a, a genuine defensive midfielder. I can't get my head, but it feels like I've been waiting decades for this. Obviously, it's not been decades, but wow. If it works out, this could be incredible. And yeah, it's a massive shift from the Frankie de Jong situation. A very different type of player, but certainly one that Ten Hag can build around. And I'll be doing a scouting report when we get a bit more depth on it. But moving on from Casemiro, Anthony. Manchester United, back when the stories first came out about him having an 80 million price tag and Lissandra Martinez having a 50 million price tag, I sort of stood firm that Manchester United were effectively going to get priced out of a move for him. And that's what we did. We sort of, we went quiet on it. But now it's come out, it's emerged last night, the Manchester United, from David Ornstein, that we put in an £80 million pound euro bid for Anthony that has been rejected. Let's read through the story here. Manchester United have revived their interest in Ajax forward Anthony, but face a challenge to lure him to Old Trafford in this transfer window. The Athletic understands that United submitted an offer of €85, €80 million Euros for the Brazilian on Wednesday, but saw it rebuffed. Eric Ten Hag is seeking reinforcements for his team before September the 1st. I mean, that's a given, we know that. But Old Trafford Chiefs are not optimistic in prizing Anthony from Amsterdam after their fresh approach was knocked back. And I'll be completely honest, it feels like a little bit too little, too late. Maybe not too little, that's the wrong way to describe it. 80 million euros was the price tag that Ajax put on Anthony. But the season has now started. Anthony had a cracking performance in their first game. I don't think Ajax will sell this late in the window. Have we gone in with that 80 million euro bid at the same time as we went in with the bid for Martinez? That was a double negotiation. We probably could have made that work. But at this point in the window, I think Ajax are going to dig their heels in. Clearly, they just rejected an 80 million euro bid. Do you think United will go back in with another bid? I don't think we will. I think what will happen, as reported here in the Telegraph, Manchester United will eye Cody Gakpo. Now, Cody Gakpo, of course, is PSV's winger. He is also, of course, involved in their Champions League qualifiers against Rangers, the second of which is in five days' time. Now, he's going to be around about €34 million. Euros. So I don't know what that is. No, sorry, £34 million, pounds, which I don't know. What, is that about €40 million? Euros? There or thereabouts. About half of what Anthony is, which means there would still be £40 million left in the pot if we got Gakpo instead of Anthony. But United are panicking here. This is the last thing that we wanted to see our club do this summer. We wanted to see, I mean, I suppose we did do that with Frankie de Jong, but we, we chased what feels like something that was maybe unattainable. We could never have expected the nuances of that deal. But it doesn't seem like we're going to get de Jong. And I've, I've done a lot of content on de Jong this summer. Jeez, I, I, I did not expect it to end. I, I don't know how I expected it to end, but I didn't expect this window to end like this. Out of nowhere in the last foot, I say out of nowhere, last week or so, we've been linked with what feels like 20 plus players. And now we're about to sign Casemiro. And it's a shame that the, the idea of signing Casemiro comes in the context of, of a cloud hanging over it and what's going on with the Glazers. Because Casemiro could be one of the best signings that we've made in such a long time. Seriously, I think so anyway. But you can let me know about what you think about the Casemiro deal in the comments below. And what about Anthony? 150 million euro bids on two players. One that we're about to sign in Casemiro and one that's been rejected in Anthony and one that will be followed up by a Gakpo situation next week. It's all kicking off. Of course, I think part of this is definitely in response. Maybe not in, res 
It's all part and parcel of what's going on with the Glazers. But you can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And I'll try and bring you some decent videos over the next few days. I apologise for the different surroundings, but I'm sure you can let me off. And United, what are you doing? You're doing all this now. I've gone away for a few days. Selfish.